Hey YouTube! So today I'm going to be trying out the Fit Me Maybelline and mine is in 240 and this is how it looks. So this is going to be my first impressions. I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to go out with it and then I'll just keep you guys updated throughout the day. So let's go ahead and apply it. So I'm not sure what to use with it so I think I'm just going to use my foundation. Um, brush. Sorry if I sound really bleh. I'm really sick. So, let's see. Okay. It feels very smooth. Uh, I don't know. I don't want really like the, maybe I put too much on. Who knows? Um, I really don't like the, like how you like glide it on. I don't know. How do I look? So I'm only going to put um, the foundation on nothing else. I'm not going to set it with anything else. And let's see how it goes. Oh. It blends in very well. Mmm. Very good. Told you I was sick. Okay, so I'm gonna need a little bit more on my forehead. Uh, I see my brush. Uh -uh. Mm. What, Joe? Put it some under my <laughs> under eye because I have really bad bags. I kind of like how it feels really creepy, but I see how well it is blending with your finger. Oh. You could do it even just put it on with your fingers. Wow, I feel like it covered underneath my eyes pretty good. Um. Oh yeah, and to figure out what blush works best for you, it's um the best color always is the color inside your lip. So just a cute little trick. So, mm, I can either go for this one or this one, but I'm gonna go for this one right here. Okay, so this is a finished um result. Um, I like the coverage that it gave. Um. I like how um, it feels very smooth. Um, I like how it doesn't have like a shine finish. And I like how convenient it looks in here. It's just really cute. You can just put it in your purse, you know, if you need some up touches, especially under your eyes. It concealed a lot under my eyes. I really like that. Um, I just put on some blush, but I didn't set it with anything else. So, again, this is the Fit Me by Maybelline 240. Very cute. I like it. Um, let's see. I like in the center. Now that you can, now you can't see in the center, but in the center, um, I don't know. Um, um, it feels very soft. I don't know if it's because of what's in the center. Because I know on the outside it's a foundation. I just wonder what's in the inside. I don't know if it's a primer or what. But I like the consistent consistency that it has. It's very, very um nice to blend out. Sorry, I'm like really sick. Um, it's just a very good foundation so far. I like it. Let's just see how it lasts throughout the week. The week, the day. Um it's 248 right now. So I will be checking up throughout the day. And hopefully it does last all day. Um, um, yeah, I, I am really liking it. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys like it? Does it look nice? Does it look like it covered up a lot? Let me know. So yeah, I'm just going to take you guys throughout the day with me. And hopefully it's it's a good foundation. So, so far so good. So this is just a quick little update. Um, 
it's already late and it's a quick little update this is the last update i forgot to record during the day just because i have so many things going on um but i think the foundation lasted okay um it didn't give me a lot of coverage that i wanted um around my nose is red i don't really touch my nose um so i don't know why it didn't really cover there underneath my eyes it concealed pretty well um it goes in your fine lines like it really does like you really have to like work it in there uh, when i picked up my husband from work he noticed like the lines how it, it went in my lines like my fine lines in here and underneath my eye and stuff and so yeah that was only a bummer um I like how it goes on super super nice but what I didn't like is that I applied it at home got my husband like three hours later and I went like this and like there's just a lot of product on my fingers so I was like okay great like it didn't even really dry you know so it's like you have to set it with something maybe so I'm gonna probably try it with something else I'm probably gonna you know apply it and then set it with um, a powder just to see how that would work but other than that, I think I would just probably use it as a concealer just because it's convenient and, you know, you can just put it underneath your eyes and just um, seal up the blemishes, maybe around the nose or where it's needed. But I don't think it's good for all around the face. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, maybe I should work with it some more. Um, another thing that my husband said that he saw, um, it looked pretty cakey and chalky. So that was kind of a downer because, you know, you never want people knowing that you're wearing foundation. So, yeah, but that's my little um, first impression of it. Like I said, I'm still going to work with it. See, um, I'm still going to see if, if I can, you know, like, you know how you try foundation and then you have to try it for a couple of times just to see how it works for you. So I'm going to continue using it and see how it works for me. Um, the next foundation, though, I want to try is the um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser Makeup Treatment. So I want to try this one. So I'll be doing a first impression of this tomorrow just to see how that works. I know people really love the concealer, um, the concealer one, you know, for under your eyes. So I'm hoping it's a good review on that one. Um, so yeah, so this I would rate um, a 6 out of a 10. But I don't know. Um, leave comments down below if you have it and you love it or, you know, how you use it and um, stuff like that and um, yeah and if you're 240 um, let me know how it works on your skin tone if it covers up your blemishes really well or just any good feedback I'd really love to hear about it um, or even bad feedback if you had a bad experience with it or something so yeah um, thanks for watching my little review until next time